Hey everybody, this is Chad Keeler, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids in East Central Illinois. Today I'm in a cornfield in McLean County, Illinois. This is actually a test plot of corn that has about 40 different hybrids in it that was planted May 14th. I just want to talk about corn development here for a little bit. As we look at uh, look at some of this corn, it's obviously, this is 30 inch rows and, and we have canopy closure here. Normally, whenever we get the canopy closure in 30 inch rows on corn, on, on me, I like to consider that to be waist high, which would be about uh, 38 to 40 inches tall. Uh, here in this corn this year, being planted a little bit later than normal, we do have a little bit uh, extended internode length. And this is actually one of our more aggressive products, 6282 uh, family of hybrids. And so this product does have a little bit taller height at this point. So right now we're gonna look at some growth staging. Now we do have plants that are about, uh, about 48 inches tall instead of that uh, typical 40 inches tall. So a little bit longer internode length. But what I wanna do is I wanna talk about uh, GDU and, and accumulation and also the, the plant growth development that we're seeing here and just the growth staging. So right now, uh, the, the GDU accumulation for this area since uh, May 14th planting is about 830 heat units. Now, this stage that we're at, this V9, V10 stage that we're at, is important because up until this point, it's taken about 82 heat units to put on each new leaf collar. And after this stage of about V10, we've got a lot of important things happening in the plant. So we've got rapid uptake of nitrogen, and we've also got an, a leaf that's gonna be put on every 50 heat units instead of every 82 heat units. So in a typical day, right now in the summer, we're gonna be putting upon a new leaf about every two days. So for every week, we're gonna have about three new leaves on the corn plant. So the prediction, uh, looking at the Midwest Regional Climate Center information, would predict that this field, based on the planting date and lo location and what we've had as far as heat, is about V9 corn. So when we get to that stage, it's often tough sometimes because a lot of times these lower leaves get crushed and they get lost, but sometimes you can find plants that still have that very first rounded tip leaf that's, a, that's leaf collared. So this is actually V1 leaf right here. And on the other side back here, this is V2. Uh, leaf and then right here is V3 we've got the fourth leaf and then we got V5 right here V6 right here there's the leaf collar here's the next leaf collar so that's V7 here's V8 okay and then we move up that's V9 right there and then we're almost to V10 there's a the leaf collar on the 10th leaf so this is a V10 a V9 corn plant so again, what's important here to note is that this leaf stage, V9, V10, we're really starting to uh, reach the point of where the corn plant's taking up the maximum amount of nitrogen per day. So it's really, really gonna need nitrogen from here on out. Up until this point, and, and this is surprising to a lot of people when I talk about this, but up until this point in plant growth, that V9, V10 corn, this corn crop at this stage has only taken up about 50 pounds of nitrogen per acre. So from this point until through about sweet corn stage or blister stage, R2, um, it's really going to be taking up the max amount of nitrogen that's going to do throughout the growing season uh, per day. The other thing I just want to do here is show you um, in a nearby plant, what I did is I took my knife and I split this stalk. So I went from the base up here just to see if I could find the tassel in the plant. And as I split that stalk, you can see those nodes, get some of these other leaves out of the way. You can see the nodes, there's, there's a node right there. As we move up, there's another node. They get sh uh, shorter nodes here because we're getting to the tassel right here. So you should be able to uh, split that stalk and find that tassel inside that plant. Now, where is that tassel at in relation to its total height? Right now, as I mentioned before, these plants are about 48 inches tall. And the height of this tassel placement inside the stalk is right around 20 inches. 20 inches in height right there. There's ways we can unfurl the leaves and find out how many days it, there will be to silking. 
uh, as far as uh, you know how many leaves are left to unroll but I just want to give you a little bit of information here on growth staging corn about the v9 v10 stage and some of the important factors there so if you have any questions please contact your local Bex field agronomist or Bex representative thank you <laughs>